Okay, we are in episode 48 of the 248k mod on a Ruben World run. Um, a little bit of time has passed between episodes. I, Yeah, a bunch, bunch of things happened. I don't think I ended up moduling all the smelting that I planned on, um, but I did put a bunch of trains down. And so plastic and ceramics, and let's see if we can find a couple of these things. Um, yeah, the, the water trains are now also upgraded to these diesel trains, which is nice. They've got like superchargers and, and nuclear fusion power plants and stuff like that. Oh, that's all pretty fine. Um, the grid the grid is getting extended somewhere out to the west somewhere. Bots aren't complaining about things, so presumably they've got everything they want. Um, not a whole lot of bots free. They're still wandering all the way back to these buffer chests, but you know, whatever. And then lodge bots also doing something at some point. That's fine. Okay. What are we doing today? Oh, there's a bunch of stuff to do today, wasn't there? Um, yeah, I think the one of the entertaining things that happened at some point is I had I had these assemblers that were going to be making the the train parts that I needed that I didn't actually set the requests for yet. And then forgetting about those, we implemented them over here. So so we kind of spent resources I kinda of wasn't planning on. I guess these guys can be unset now. Oh well. Um the actually let's do the tech first. I did notice that the yeah, purple science is kinda sad. I mean we're trying to kick through a technology that has a lot of purple science in it. And, and I don't have that much, but I've got yellow science. And I've actually got a ton of military science as well. Did I, am I still, am I still running military science or did I cut that? I, am yeah, we cut military science, which is, which is fine. Although we've still got, you know, we're going to make some more. Um, but I think because of that, we're going to skip on the things that need purple science. Um, find some things that need yellow science, which I think is going to be fusion energy. Because this is kind of the main the main bottleneck that we were working towards through these four isotopes things and this fusion fusion research that we're not doing anything with yet, but whatever, they were all important. Um so that was gonna be a big deal. Do I want do I want to, this is the stone this is the stone miner upgrade, isn't it? I don't think I need that yet. I think given that I've got military research up, the thing we're gonna do is actually artillery, and that should soak yeah, that's gonna take that's gonna take a lot of research, and then we'll probably go back to mining productivity because that's gonna be a useful thing to be able to do as well. Um, did I also see that? Yeah, I haven't got, I haven't got the last of the stack and soda capacity bonuses yet. So that's that's gonna be a thing as well. But that also requires purple, so I might not have some of that much left. Um, but then the other point about that was, yeah, in, I've got I've got about fifty labs. And so there's about 50 chests requesting stuff. So I cache about 5,000 science just in the requester chests, except for the red cubes. The red cubes, I only cache about 500 of them because I don't have very much of that stuff. Um, but I do have Progmod 2s everywhere. And so the special red cube beacon science, I want to, like, the tech I want for that is 1,000 units, um, which after... The prod mod bonuses mean I need about 850-ish, which means I'm kind of keeping an eye on the this box, because when this box gets to about 350, um, along with all the stuff that's already cached in these other lab, in the, yeah, in, in the request chests by the labs, that means I will have enough special red cube beacon tech bits to get me the module extension, which is going to be pretty exciting. Um, so that's a thing that will happen hopefully soon. Doing a lot of tech. Um, yeah, so let's, I guess, go and find... I'm pretty sure I have... Okay, I don't have the magnets to make the research fuses, but I'm pretty sure I have... Um, that was the ingot factory. That was not... I've, I've already got those automated. I want the... Yeah, the laser facility. We'll do that. And then we want the magnetizing facility, of which all of these things are also provided by Logibot, so that's fine. Thermochemical separator is a thing, sure. And that one I've got, where's the last one? Laser? Is plasma the one I don't have? Plasma is the one I don't have. Um, all all these four pictures are different. Yeah, cool. And then, I forget, I forget exactly what for, but I automated filter inserters as well. Was that... 
I was using that somewhere. I did something with those. I don't remember exactly what. It's fine. Okay. How fast do these things craft? Four seconds? Okay, so I can probably just assign you these things. And yeah, we don't need... We don't need to be caching that much concrete. And we certainly don't need to be caching that many crystals. And this is 11 stacks of this stuff. And you don't need that either. But... In fact, there's there's a lot of this stuff that you are caching vastly more than you actually need. And we're going to scale it back a bit. Um, but yeah, the rest of this the rest of this is fine, sure. Um, okay, so let's do that for all these other things. And also, just yeah, we're going to make yeah 1.8k neodymium. No, you do not get 1.8k neodymium. Um, that's just silly. We'll scale all these things back to some particular amount. And I haven't been consistent about how much each of these things are getting. But also, is this four stacks or is this is this two stacks? I don't know exactly how much of this I want. Um, oh yeah, you're still requesting a thousand concrete. Don't do that either. And then I also don't know what these stack to. And I'm kind of just making two stacks of each of them because that's how it works. Um, let's do this one. And then 375 heat pipe is a lot of heat pipe that's kind of expensive. I'm going to need more concrete, aren't I? I'm actually going to need just a lot more concrete. I'm not really making concrete in any large amount yet. Um, these, I think I've still just got one assembler that's that's doing all of that. And I don't I don't really mind this thing where I've like given these things huge requests and I'm going to get a huge amount of stuff delivered and then, then pulling down these requests later, even though it doesn't look like it's happened looks like it's pretty fine and um, because everything's just getting loaded into these things anyway um okay these are just these are just expensive okay fine um expensive things were probably always gonna happen i don't need yet don't need that many of these i'm pretty sure these are being put in the network near the purple science um but we're not really gonna worry about that i don't even think i'm doing anything with these this episode i think i think we're mostly just going to set up these requests and then laugh at some other stuff about you got in the network you should surely be in the network yeah we're gonna we're gonna did i say deliveries were on the way deliveries not on the way okay um where is purple science purple science is not that far purple science is here and these things are low because of stone. Interesting. I think that was the thing I always knew about. Is it a thing I always knew about? Um, okay, I wasn't really expecting it to chew through that in the same way, but also um, we can upgrade this and upgrade this and upgrade this and upgrade all of this. All of those don't really need to be upgraded. Only only the ones in the middle where the merge happening is happening need to be upgraded. But we can upgrade all of this and we're going to get some more stone in. And that's going to be fine. And I guess I could module these as well, but we're not going to. We're just going to, we're just going to push a bunch more resources in there. And then this thing should probably be... Yeah, I think... I wonder if I can do that from here. I probably can. Because uh, we want to do something that says only only put stuff on the belt if I've got more than say forty of these things. Um, and this will mean that I mean Logibot's going to be taking these things a long way, right? But yeah, and also it means that this thing like I need I need stone to get all the way to the end of this belt before this guy will actually start putting things in the chest for the network um, but I think that's probably fine um, it's more fine than the other fairly funny things about the network um, yeah let's let's talk about that now I guess I could also be lodging mauling them here that's not a decent it, yeah, that's not a particularly bad call either. Maybe we do that. Um, we're going to worry about that later. The other really funny thing was, yeah, at the point where I swapped these normal robot ports into these fancy mod robot ports, um, 
Well, remember in that episode that I accidentally, yeah, the, the, the consequence of picking up this robot is that the circuit condition was snapped off all of these stations for basically a whole episode. And so the train stations weren't getting disabled. And I kind of only just noticed that, yeah, looking, looking at the signals on this thing, how many, for example, red chips do I have in the logistics network? 55,000. And then a ton of aluminium that I'm not really going to do anything with, a ton of crystals, um, a lot of fiberglass, but that's like we're going to get through that anyway. It's more just, yeah, me complaining about not having all the red chips, followed by realizing that that in one bad episode I'd emptied vast buffers of red chips from the red chip station into this buffer. So I think what we're going to do about that is wander down to the RCUs, and um, which is yeah that's still disabled which is good and then we're just going to we're just going to put we're just going to put these red chips back in the system at the rate of at the rate of one stack and total which looks like it will keep up with this so that's going to be a way of recycling those back in and then i guess we do the same thing with Let's do this with crystals as well. Uh, let's put another, yeah, let's put 400 crystals on this thing. Uh, but we don't really care about this one. The place where we really care about it is all the way back in, yeah, we'll put it over here. So, so these crystals will just sit here kind of forever. And then this line of crystals will go into, eventually into blue science, um, which are currently struggling because I don't have the red circuits. But that's probably okay. Is like military science is fully backed up. Yeah. Is is blue science also a thing that I mean maybe it's probably fine. Anyway, um. So moving on from that. So those those were two hilarious things that that I had realized. Um. That hopefully this train station stays off. How many 1.4k? Yeah. Okay. So yes, this this train station is yeah, this train station is not going to become available before this stuff goes in, which means we will. Okay, if we're actually launching rockets and we're kind of not launching rockets yet, well, okay, we we are not continuing to launch rockets probably because okay, there goes a rocket. Um, I'm wondering if I've actually got. Yeah, not a lot of science in there. So instead of that, let's change this guy to like. 10k because we've got we've got the LDS I'm pretty sure we've got rocket fuel and um, rocket fuel is not a particularly big build we might actually be waiting on rocket fuel and I didn't have did have to reorganize this recently because I realized I'd broken it yeah like it wasn't it wasn't quite lined up but that's gonna be okay we're gonna get more rocket fuel I think also how what what beacon counts my own at the moment? 99? I've got one beacon to play with. Okay, let's have... Am I going to do this with regular beacons then? This is kind of set up. Like, if I get... If I get some of these things in here, which we may as well do, then we can have beacons in here as well. Because it definitely looks like I'm not fully utilizing the solid fuel. Even if I were to put more beacons in here, that would speed up both sides of this thing. Um, and this will let me have more beacons through the middle. And also, like, construction robots are going to pick up this rocket fuel and then put it in the main log logistics system, which is going to be exposed to the rocket anyway. So that's all kind of silly, but also fine. And, yeah. Then, yeah, other things we wanted to do today... So we're getting we're getting through artillery tech now, which is kind of nice. And um, the other thing that was kind of super interesting is where's the beacons at? Yeah, this I've had. I think one of the reasons why the red chips were low was because this. Yeah, this the way the uranium arrived, and then I filled this tank, and then the overflow ended up down here, which is currently not doing super great, but that's okay. Um, meant that this guy, which is the the k2 core that's amplifying the channel that i'm actually using i uh, wasn't getting enough stuff so instead now there's this tank but there's also the, these two tanks and because this these are just pipes instead of a pump 
this will only pump out if I've got a surplus over all three tanks, which hopefully gives this more to work with. But also I just need more uranium because... Yeah, uranium, because because we want uranium. If we want, we'll wander all the way over here. Um, the... Yeah, we just don't have... We don't have the uranium. So, so never mind this being enough to kick off Kovrix. We actually don't have the boring rocks to even start. Like, we don't have the boring rocks to to do the Kovarix on. So I think we've got to go change that with some degree of priority. Was there something else? So we've done the red chips, we've done... Oh yeah, that was the other thing I wanted to do. Yeah. Oh, and the other thing to talk about, actually. Yeah. Somewhere... So we turned... I hope I get around to the rest of this in this episode, because we kind of need to get around to doing that. But we got... Yeah. The rest of this, this titanium build... We kind of put back together. The, I kind of hacked this together without really thinking about the ratios. It's kind of okay, but it's still backed up on just not getting enough rich water. So we're going to do that probably differently. Maybe not even here. I don't know. But this titanium is running again now. And then the thing that struck me is with that titanium running, I actually don't want this titanium to go into the station at all. I'd much rather it, in fact... I think I just need to go over there and move some of that stuff around because I kind of wasn't... I was expecting to have stuff in those chests because I didn't think I'd done all that much with it. And then turned out that, no, in fact, um, the stuff that's in the station... Like, I think I've also limited... Oh, you guys are taking my speed modules. I kind of needed those. Um, yeah, these, these stations here, I was kind of expecting to have... Yeah, all this stuff in in chests. Yeah, so we're going to we'll, we'll get rid of these bits of belt. We'll take all of this stuff and put it in. Actually, if I put this chest over here, then the one that I eventually want to empty will be the one that gets prioritized because it'll be closer. Um, so I don't have any speed modules now, which is a real shame. But this does mean that when this titanium arrives, I will fill up these requester chests, which are going into the mall, and not worry about, like, I think we'll, we'll plug the rest of that station back in again when I've got something that wants to go on a train. But at the moment, I don't. All of that stuff just wants to be mauled. Um, do I have... Not... Really, yeah, all those all those speed modules. Because I think the problem with the speed modules is the speed module also down in the the module part of the base that also doesn't have red chips. So we kind of need to get some red chips over here. Um, how many are on the train at the moment? Oh, there's a lot on the train at the moment. Okay, so are you just going to go to yeah. So that's going to make me more of the speed modules that I need, and also module upgrades and things like that. And yeah, we'll, we'll get some of that done. The other thing about having yeah, the, so the the ton of red chips that I found in the logistics network was why I was kind of happy to have this stuff running and then also be making these train superchargers, so that's all pretty good. Um, do I have... Let's have more of... These here, like so, because we're going to need them. For automating, I'm not sure what, but you know something? How big are these things? They're not too big. Okay, fine. Um, and I'm going to take this. These were the thermochemical separators? Yes. Um, I didn't actually want one. I just wanted to see how big these things were. And then what are you What are you waiting on? Oh, electric furnaces. That's reasonable because I only just kind of just kind of dealt with that. Yeah, then things I wanted to do were... Is this the... Is this the chest I was using to request things? I think this was a chest I was using to request things for when I was handcrafting various kinds of things that I just don't need now. All of that can just go back in the box. Um, but what I did want, especially having realized how many red chips I have and that I'm in fact not poor for red chips at all, is let's start to prepare the requests for the next like nuclear power plant, um, because we want we're gonna need we're gonna need more of those soon as well. And I'm pretty sure these were 600 heat pipe roughly, and then these things were about 210, 
Um, let's actually check, yeah. About 600, about 210. Um, and then 400 undergrounds, and yeah, just stuff like that. Because um, we're going to need to put this somewhere at some point. Um, these guys, 400 undergrounds. Because um, the thing about, yeah, this is, we're going to, our power grid is fine for the moment, but we are going to be expanding it at some point, almost certainly. So let's... I mean, most of most of these things are fine. Actually, I should only two hundred of those. Do I? Let's just go with hundred of these. Um, yeah, most of these things are fine, but the, the, especially the nuclear reactors, and then also the. Yeah, give me, give me these back, and you go back to it's like three hundred and fifty or something, isn't it? And I've got space for thirty-five stacks of these, so that should be fine. Yeah. So these, the way you can all that landfill. Oh, I'm going to get landfill as well, aren't I? I could handcraft more of that. Yeah. So the way that all of that works is these. The this is yeah. It's not controlled there. It's controlled here. Um, it's not actually. It's controlled with the inputs here. Yeah. So we only ever make a few reactors at once. We're only going to make a reactor if this one is empty. But then. This thing is requesting a reactor, and um, I'm holding... This is two nuclear reactors worth of train reactors, and then this is also another three reactors worth of train reactors. And then when we need more of them, we'll just request them out of the box and carry them somewhere else. And I think the same is, yeah, the same is working for these things. I think we've only got, like, two stacks of these things wherever they are. They're over here. Yeah, we're only, we're only ever making two stacks of them. And then when I need more than that, because I want to go and do a build, we'll probably just leave this here for now, because I don't know what other nuclear power plans we have. And why is my... Oh, now, this is blue science being out. That is not a thing I was expecting. I'm, I guess that's also going to be red chips, right? Because I did see them being unhappy about red chips before. Okay. Sigh. Where... Is this the thing I was going to be working on soon? Where is this train? Ah, because this station is not even online yet, because it doesn't have this many... Yeah, this is this is all a bit sad. So this train, yeah, then we're going to need to intercept that train. Yeah, that's all a bit sad. Um, is that something I wanted to deal with immediately? I don't think it is. I think we're going to... Yeah, we're going to go and do the other thing of actually more stuff that I need is we're going to need actually do I even have no we don't I'm going to we're going to go mine this uranium which is fun because it's it's on the other bit of the build network I was going to do a build train we're not going to do that we're just going to go out there um, but I guess that means we need I was going to try and guess how many miners we wanted but I can't actually put the ghosts down from here so let's get 60 miners, which is going to be more than we need there, and then we're going to need a bunch of efficiency modules as well, aren't we? If we've got 60 miners, we're going to need, say, 180 efficiency modules, and then we're going to need, yeah, bits of bits of belt and things like this that's in... Why have I got purifiers in here? Am I requesting purifiers? No. I must have just dumped a bunch of stuff in there by hand at some point. Um, but yeah, we're going to need silos, we're going to need some... I actually won't need trains, will I? Um, what was the... Yeah, I guess while we wait for this stuff to arrive, because that's still a thing that we're doing, what I wanted to do was module the acid differently, especially now that we're going to need more of it. And... I've actually only got speed 3 modules at the moment, because every other speed module has been upgraded into... Other kinds of things, because we're kind of waiting on... Yeah, I guess... Yeah, sure. Um, I guess that means we are finding the acid station, which is this this one. This looks like the right kind of setup. And I'm pretty sure that... Yeah, we've got beacon space here. I think we're just going to use boring beacons, but also I think we're low on... I think we're kind of low on gas. So I think we're going to do this thing where efficiency 1 to prod mod 1. So this would give these guys two prod mod 1s and a speed 3. Yes. 
which is an amount of hap cracking I am happy with. And um, this, this solid fuel thing doesn't need to be here anymore. These trains are nice and fast, so they're pretty zippy now. I should have left that there because we weren't staying very long. Um, but I guess because I only have speed 3 modules, you guys are getting speed 3 modules. Which is probably more than you deserve, but that's okay. I also don't have any speed 3 modules at the moment, do you? Because I took all the speed 3 modules. Oh well. Um, okay, so these guys are also going to go to... One speed three. And then I've got prod mod threes. I don't really want to use prod mod threes. I think we're going to use. Yeah, this is going to go to prod mod one. So that's all just like this is this is the low effort. Hey, I want a bit more acid. We'll, we'll have some more acid. Thanks. And plastics was the other thing I was going to module differently, wasn't it? Um, I think that this is the right way around. It might not be the right way around. Yeah, and we're also in the situation of now we've got... It's not the right way around. Um, that key, thanks. Yeah, let's module this plastic differently, because I'm pretty sure this plastic is not particularly well moduled. Um, yeah, interesting situation at the moment is I'm using a bunch of these trains, and I'm not actually making the train fuel for these guys anywhere. And so that's bit of an issue that we'll have to address at some point. Um, I guess we do this, because we kind of planned on putting the, the tier 2 beacons in here, but all of this is just like, would have to change if we were going to do this differently, and we're just going to instead hack this nonsense in, and now you guys get to go faster, and yeah, I think... This is not a particularly well thought out plastic build, but also doesn't need to be at this point, I don't think. Um, I kind of want to replace this entire thing with a different... What did I do? Whatever. kind of want to replace all of this with a different Richips build anyway. That's kind of later on the list of things to do. Okay, um, is that... That's actually not the only plastic, is there? There's another plastic that's all the way... Yeah, this one, this one here. This one here is also plastic. But why am I doing the roundabout loop there instead of coming down here? Silly things. Oh well. Um, yeah, because this thing here is what's making the fiberglass, the non-fiberglass actually, the, the natural fiber infused plastic. Um, but that's all kind of fine. Have we, we should be making... Ah, uh, no, because the other thing we needed to do, once this red chips train got back here and got these yeah we've got about 10,000 red chips there now so that's nice we need to more red chips is the thing we need that's the purple science which is probably fine we need to get down here and then then go to a, a red circuit request because then it will hopefully hit this station and we'll be able to make blue science again okay um over here we've got actually we're fine for plastic at the moment won't be soon um, so I think we're just going to wave this upgrade planner over and, over and come back later. Okay, um, let's go back to the the main base doing this weird loop. I guess we are going in this direction. Yeah, this is, this is the problem we've got. We don't have enough uranium, and then these tanks are slowly running down, and we just need to get more uranium. And that's going to be the thing we do next with these... Do we not have efficiency modules on the way? We kind of got efficiency modules on the way. Um, yeah, okay, we're going to deal with that later, I guess. Um, what else do we need to make this work? We need some of the things in here. We're going to need some of this, we're going to need some of this, we're going to need these guys. Um, I've got one pump, so let's find... I thought I was requesting pumps here. Apparently not requesting pumps, okay. Let's also request pumps. This is going to be the kind of generic... Oh, actually, was this nuclear thing requesting pumps? It was not requesting pumps. We're going to need like 30 or something there, isn't it? But most of all, this is just to like be be constructing these things and pull them out of out of the stuff as well. I don't think... I definitely don't need any of that stuff. Do I need quite so many bullets and landmines? I'm going to need some. But we're going to ignore that. Okay, the other thing we need is centrifuges, which are... Not over here. Cool. Um, okay. And um, we're going to solve that problem by automating centrifuges here. 
and then how many things are you requesting let's like a couple of stacks of things that's fine let's not request quite so many of those um but then also if we're doing that we probably don't need all oh, these were already not making centrifuges that's that's fine i guess i'm actually you guys stop doing that then because i'm already making robot ports in another place and this will just put more red yeah this will make sure all the red chips go into the blue sides which is the thing that we need um yeah i think all of those yeah this is doing this stuff here is pretty silly but whatever oh that's right i wanted to check whether or not i had okay i did have i did have furnaces and they are actually in the network so that's fine okay um do i so do i have centrifuges anywhere in in the network already and i'm gonna need what 12 of these guys delivery 12 yes yeah, somewhere i have centrifuges which is fine because i think the part of part of the plan is just going to be to copy this thing and then drop it on the other side of the map and have trains move things backwards and forwards um do i have i have these things which i don't really want and then i also need wagons which is going to be over here so that's going to be all of that that i need i think i've at this point yeah give me give me all of this stuff this is going to be probably enough to set all of that up um you've also got all 12 of those okay fine i'm i'm i can tell that yeah pumps is pumps is the thing i was i was like i'm sure i have something yeah i have not enough of something i need and actually pipes are the things that i have not enough of something that i need um th this was going to go badly for me and actually maybe silos i don't think i need oh, i've got silos okay um can we just i think we could probably go and set up some mining over here and then also oh, do i have radars i do not have radars okay um then in that case the radars are the things that we do not have. Cool. Oh, do I have train stations? Yes, I have four train stations. That's kind of enough, isn't it? Okay. Um, because this network has its own dedicated bots, so I don't really need to worry about whether or not I give these guys jobs. Um, I've also got. Where is the storage for this? Oh, the storage is over here. Um, sure. I am okay with that. I think we're just going to also drop some storage over here which is not a big deal but i mean everything everything here is already connected via power grid and everything else like that so all of all of these yeah this this line here isn't a thing we're going to use anymore so we'll get kind of that rail out the way and then actually this rubber port here needs to go and some of this power does but the train line can stay, and then we want. Where's my? Here's here's the thing that we want. Um, where are we putting? So we're not putting train stations here or here. So I guess we have over here, and these are still on the same rail network. So, so this trick of just grab. Okay, so train fuel is going to be a problem, but we can just grab this thing and slap it here tree is in the way um those aren't gonna work uh someone's gonna get that tree out of the way for me um these things are all gonna line up this is now gonna be an acid request station and this train is gonna it's probably just gonna visit us immediately isn't it yeah that's that's exactly what should be happening that that's what we want and um, we'll throw these pumps in because i've got these pumps we'll put this here and then i think the plan is going to be we're gonna do where is the centrifuge thing um, centrifuge thing, technical term. Like so. And then we're just going to put everything here on a train. And I don't even know that I care about... Like, this is... Because this is going to have both types of things. I don't think we're going to filter it here. I think we're just going to run it over to the other side of the base and filter it on the other side. So we're just going to have... Um, we're going to have both kind of uh, rock 
books is going to be slightly more descriptive, but we're then going to throw in this kind and also we're going to have both kinds of nuclear rocks here, which is fine. I think we're also only going to do this with a two carriage train because I just don't think we need all that much stuff. And then we're going to... Do I even want to... I don't even think that I care. I think I'm going to be fine. Let's also give this guy some amount of fuel. And then I don't have any boxes. But that's probably going to be fine for a while. And yeah, let's get this out of the way. And then actually also these these two here are not going to ever be useful anymore, are they? Um, because that intersection is not actually going that way. Never mind. I... Um, yeah, then, oh yeah, bots are going to be complaining about not having exactly this stuff. So they're going to need, um, apparently there was a damaged pole somewhere. Oh, I almost certainly damaged that pole when I drove into a tree. Like, that's, that's almost, yeah, I probably drove a car into the pole. That's almost certainly what's, what happened there. Um, I don't have the kind of modules that these things, I don't have the kind of modules that the centrifuges wanted. I have already given the centrifuge. Yeah, so we've given them... Yeah, okay. So I think we can just hack this nonsense in... That lined up better than I had any right to expect, given that I started on the side that was kind of a long way from the rail. That could have gone badly. Um, but I think we're just going to go... How many... This is still fine, isn't it? This is... Actually, I think what we do is we run this all the way through the middle one. And then we do the same thing, where that missed. Uh, this goes here, this goes here. This is like... This is like roughly a belt of stuff or something, and it's fine. Um, these guys are kind of suboptimally not really lined up for connecting the acid but now they are so that's fine and then it's not really super easy to connect the acid across the back either there and then this yeah this is actually let's definitely do it there instead and um, because that means that we can have you know a pump here connect that up um one of these here, one of these here. Like so. Actually, I don't know that you, the, these bots have. Yeah, this is the reasons why I was going to do a build train. So that I can have, like, all the generic things. And then, yeah, so these guys still need modules? Or just, just we're waiting for... Yeah, okay, so I still need to bring a bunch of modules. That's fine. These guys also need a bunch of modules. That's also fine. And then I think we just run... Like, I don't even think I want to bother about boxing this stuff on this side. I think we're just going to have... Um, in fact, if it's there... Don't need to worry about that at all. We can just go up this way. And in there. And this stuff will end up on both sides. We still need... Yeah, these guys need their beacons and modules and things like that before they're going to be happy. And then I think we just put this on a train. Uh, and I think we don't worry about the rest of it. We're just going to put... We're going to put all things on the train. Um, and then, yeah, we need another... What's in here? Um, all those things I'm happy being in here. And we're just going to have bots move them to the other chests. And that's all going to be fine. And we... Other than the fact that we don't have the modules we need in these guys. Speed 2s. Do I have... I don't have... I don't have either of those kinds of modules. Oh well, need to bring bots more modules, that's probably fine. Um, we're going to take this train. Are we? We're not going to take that train. That train is bad. We're going to take this train, for this train is good. Uh, this way. And we're going to wander over to this bit of the network over here. I mean, I guess the, like, the other option I could have is to have this yeah, because what, we, what we're going to do is we're going to roll this train over to the 
other side of the map and then unload and filter everything here and more or less more or less take that train and, and just dump its stuff in actually not this belt probably another belt that just also goes into the splitter and um, what do we even need do i still have oh i don't have okay i don't have any of these on me but i would like the bots to bring me some the bots have them in storage the bots are waiting for modules okay fine um yeah because the thing that strikes me is i've also Artillery is still on 18%. Artillery has not really moved. Um, I guess it's also just a, a train sequencing thing now. In that I've got... Not very much blue science, to be fair. Um, yeah, we, we probably could have done... Where is the labs? Here are the labs. Okay, so now, now they're doing stuff. Now they've got... Not very much science. Oh, well, never mind. Um, yeah. I think what we're going to do for this other train... Um, I didn't want that. I wanted the train station. Is put a train station here. And we're going to call this... Where's... Yeah, whatever I call this one. But it's going to be a request... It's going to be a request rather than rather than the thing that does that and then because the thing is I was, what I was hoping is if I can set up if I could set up some coverings now because I've got that tech done I don't even have to worry about I think we're just going to worry about that later I think we're just going to still just going to box the rest of the stuff down here because the, the, the thing I was wondering about was whether I could just feed things into this assembler as it goes past. But I don't think we're going to worry about that at all. I think we're just going to go... Um, I don't even think we need... I don't even have belt with me. That's okay. Bots do. Yeah, we're, we're not even going to worry about... Except that doesn't kind of matter because this is, yeah, like, whatever. Um, yeah, we're just going to have... We're just going to have all the stuff turn up on a belt. Uh, we're just going to ship that belt into the same splitter. Uh, we're going to put these things on a train. You probably want to go to... I hope those tanks aren't low and my beacons are turned off again. Um, where... Where... How far is... Yeah, so I'm out, I'm out of... I'm out of this uranium stuff. I'm out of the K2 energy, which depends on the uranium, so that's kind of sad, but never mind. And then... So yeah, so now we've got this Please new Nuclear Ox tra train stop. This train all the way over here, which I fortunately can get in the middle of the space I don't have radar coverage of, that's important, is have Nuclear rocks to... Please nuclear rocks, and then this is going to go empty, and then we're just going to put this on a time past. Um, so every every ten minutes, if I knew how much stuff was coming out of this, which I probably should do, um, yeah, we're not we're not going to worry about that. Every every ten minutes, this train is going to go. Hopefully, this stuff fits on the carriage. I mean, this is going to. Because we don't have any chests here, this stuff is just going to build up on the belt, but also whatever. I don't plan on needing all... Because I don't... I hope I don't need that much more stuff. So what's going to happen is, yeah, that train is going to mine stuff here, centrifuge it, send that train all the way across to the other side of the base to over here, where we will filter it into different kinds of things that we like for power or not, and then things that we don't want for power that we want for beacons are going to go on a different train and go all the way back to wherever our beacons are over here. So probably we could have set that up differently, but never mind. Okay, that's that's a thing successfully ticked off, I think. The other thing that I wanted to do... Yeah, I think the... There's still a lot of things to do. Um, we're kind of going past the section of... Okay, just as a train arrives, so I was going to say we're past the section of having to worry about train stuff. Um, 
yeah, is this this grid now needs to be broken because this thing is, f and I guess the yeah. Okay, so the other good reason to have moved this. How many have I got? I've got, you know, I've got a decent amount, but also bots need to come and build it. Oh, well. Um, a good reason to have moved this all back to a central location is I could have two trains with this kind of stuff, unload them somehow, have a Coverex thing, have these requests all be much closer. Like, if I did it, I could do it in, in here. And then the only thing I would actually need, I would need two trains, wouldn't I? I would actually, no, I would need three trains. I would still need the same three trains. I wouldn't need the acid. Um, but all of this stuff will be closer in the logistics network. But whatever, we're not going to worry about that. The not right yet anyway. There's other things we still need to deal with. Um, of These bots are... Bots are mostly free, which probably means a lot of this grid has been built. Which probably means I could do this in a train rather than a car. Because the hypothesis is all of this stuff is now built. Um, probably, I don't think they would have run out of robot ports, I think. Uh, I think the way the buffer chests would have worked is that they would have already complained about bots not having things were at the situation that this grid was not fully built out. So we have more grid. We have grid that goes all the way to the lake, which is pretty exciting. And yeah, we... I was wondering about defending from here, but I don't think we are. I think I'm actually going to push it all the way out to here, because we may as well. And that also gives me all of the water to do any water-based things I want with. Um, but yeah, okay, so before we do that, we're going to go the wrong way down these tracks that don't have any other trains on them, so it's fine. And we're going to find a place that we can break the grid. Um, because that will mean that we have fewer, yes, a smaller area for the bots to worry about getting stuff done. And yeah, that was, yeah, that was the thing about, that was the reason why the breaking the grid discussion Maybe it took you that long to unload? Oh yeah, because all this, all yeah, because the bot, the bell hadn't turned up. Oh well. Um, yeah, the why, why the breaking the grid discussion depended on where this node lives and whether I just ship out the mixed rocks, because there's nothing else out this far that needs to be on the logibot grid. This could all just be in a different logibot grid. Okay, I guess. Yeah, I guess here. These, this module farm would be the next thing that needs to be in the grid, but it would mean that I could I could pull out the robot ports in this column and have. Whereas at the moment my issue is that I guess I, I guess I just pull out the robot ports in this column. Um, is that yeah? Well, cause yeah, okay, let's. I guess we're gonna have to build around this anyway, aren't we? But I guess, yeah, so we'll just go, you know what, these these bits of grid are getting built by the same RoboPort network anyway, so we'll throw those in. Um, these ones here are similar. We're going to need those anyway, but then also these RoboPorts can stay, but this train line is not. Uh, but these... Yeah, so from here we can we can get rid of this train stuff. I was just checking whether or not, and we've got yeah we've got we've got some more signals in the middle of the stuff. But whatever that does, that's fine. I was just checking whether how these robot ports were powered because it's important that those robot ports are powered. But we we don't want any of these things because we've got to be able to mine this copper. So all of that has to go. Um, in fact, possibly more of that intersection might have to go, but we're going to ignore that for a while. Um, similarly, actually, these, these, yeah, and then this road, these rubber ports here, were the ones that I was going to delete to break the grid. And so I guess what we're doing about that is, where are the request chests? Here, here are the request chests. Do I have? 
Um, I kind of only have the other chests, don't I? Because the thing I was going to do is... Yeah, I think, I think we've got to pick that one up. In fact, we might just pick all of them up. Um, yeah, storage chest. Lots of stone. I got a lot of stone. Okay, fine. Um, this one can have other things I don't need. This one can have stuff. Yep. And then that one can go away. That's probably fine. And then over here, all of these... Yeah, I think I think we actually got to do a thing, don't we? I think we got to do a thing where we first... Okay, we got to do we got to do a second thing first. The first thing is going to be to put some of these storage boxes down and give the bots all the things they might need to be making the rest of this grid. And then we're going to have to bring them more stuff so they can do that. Um, but then we also want okay, so those bots might be flying backwards and forwards for a while. And um, we want to build. I also, yeah, remember when remember when I was in the other part of the grid and I didn't have radars and I complained about not having radars because I needed radars. Uh, that might also be a thing still. Um, I also don't know if they have cliff explosives. That's also going to be a thing. Um, so part of the idea of dropping down these bits of the grid is to create large build requests for things to have bots in this part of the grid, although I'm still going to need more bots, aren't I? We got a logistic, lot of logistics bots. I'm not going to really need logistics bots in the other group, but I think we're going to need more construction bots. And then large sections of this are going to need to not exist, but we'll deal with that later. I think what we're doing at the moment is we're going to go click check on cliff explosives, which are over here somewhere, aren't they? Um, could I just? I think we just, I think we just, yeah, I don't think we do that at all. I think we go back to the main base, and we just lodge more cliff explosives in the, the main base, like, like a normal lodge them all, and then we find, that's not the awful lodge them all. The awful lodge them all is over here somewhere, and these cliff explosives, yeah, they just, these cliff explosives just don't want to exist at all. Um, am I putting, I am putting explosives in the request chest, so that's fine. And then... Am I making barrels anywhere? I don't know if I'm making barrels anywhere. Maybe it's fine? Um, what am I here... Oh yeah, I'm back here for radars as well, aren't I? Um, request... Go and, like Bots can bring me some radars. Some number of radars, it's fine. Um, then we wanted... I need two of these things. This is... This one's not used for anything, but whatever. Are uh, we going to do barrels and cliff explosives next to each other? Um, another rocket is going up, which is nice. Empty barrel. Okay, that's fine. Cliff explosives. That's fine as well. You're not going to be requesting too many things, which is cool. And then we're going to give you a, like your own steel request, because if we gave you... Because you run so fast that... Oh no, you don't actually run that fast at all. It probably wouldn't have requested all that much steel, but that's fine. We're still going to make cliff explosives, and then, yeah, build train is a thing that's going to have to happen at some point. Um, give me, give me these back. If I've got the rest of these, what else did I need? I needed speed. I needed speed ones and prod mod twos. Speed twos and prod mod ones. Okay. Um, we're gonna we're gonna set this up and then just come back later. Um, yeah, because what they what was I doing? Oh, that's the other thing that I was doing. Yes, um, and for that we want to be in. Where's the yellow signs? Yellow signs is down. This is um. This is probably still faster than walking to this because this train is really fast. But that was not a valuable use of being in a train. We want more bots. Um, yeah, that's, that's my train going back to where it was. It's fine. Okay, give me, give me half a stack from each of these wagons so that's balanced. And then make another 200 construction robots because that's going to be a worthwhile thing to do. Because now I reckon, 
Um, did, did these guys need anything? Oh, they did need. They did need the cliff explosives, didn't they? Do I do I have a request for? I do have cliff explosives. Okay, good. And then, do I have? What else do bots need? Uh, we're going to assume that that's going to be a decent amount of stuff to take to the bots, because we do still want a kind of mall over here, but we're not really in a position to do anything about that yet. Um, but yeah, I did want to do I did want to do the ingots build as well today, didn't I? And we have not. We have not done that yet. I wanted, I'd, I'd even figured out the numbers I wanted for better versions of this thing. But yeah, the, the issue, the other issue here is that, oh yeah, this train isn't running because we broke it, uh, but it's fine because we've got a lot of thorium fuel, and uh, we've got like three chests of thorium fu fuel, which is fine. But because we're also not requesting crystals, this train is full, which means that. Okay, on the upside, we we actually only have one more train of titanium to do a thing. Um, is this... Yeah, we, eh, get rid of these guys. Um, yeah, the, the issue there being that this is no longer a good source of rich water if we're not making crystals. So... And also I wanted to build the things like this in its own node anyway, because we have some numbers on how we want to do that well. Um, but, yeah, you have... I didn't bring a whole lot of rail. I don't know whether or not you guys need rail. I brought you cliff explosives. Um, I don't remember what else I specifically wanted to give you. Maybe radars? I think radars. Um, but the thing we want to do now is exactly this grid breaking, and it's this column here that we want to get rid of. And if we do this, then we still have... We still have build range over everything in the middle, which is important, and we've still got... Oh, you guys are taking cliff explosives to some other... Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is... Yeah, this is reasons why I kind of should have taken out those rubber ports first. So now we've got... Now we've got two distinct grids, which is fine. I'll have overlap to be able to build everything else in between, which is also fine. Um, all of this stuff here wants to disappear because we want to be able to put mining on it, which is also fine. The thing that's a little bit less fine is all those bots taking cliff explosives back to the right were taking them back into the request chests that's requesting cliff explosives in the mall, because that's that's how that works. But I've still got 43 cliff explosives over here, so that's probably fine. How many bots did you end up with? 200? And, yeah. So that's why we were making more bots. And now, now we've got these different networks. All of this, yeah, this, this section here will be one network. And then... Why are you... Oh, because you're not built. You're going to be built by some bot that's turning up from the, the the main network, but also all those bots are busy, and I guess there's just other things you're also building. I guess. Um, let's get rid of some of these things that are not what I should be spending my time on, but whatever. Um, yeah, okay, so that robot what we're done, that's all fine. Yeah, so we're now going to have... We're going to have a network out to the east, which is going to get some stuff done. It needs radars, it needs a build train. We're going to put stuff there, it's going to be fine. We've got a network out to the west as well, which is also going to need a bunch of stuff, but it's going to be fine. And then, yeah, I think we're going to go and do the other thing now as well. Um, can I? Yes, because all these rails are complete so I can actually build things here. Actually, first of all, let's just wander down here, because now we've got some of these grids in play. Um, that's not going to be easy to do for map, is it? And we can start building the rest of this stuff out as well, because I think we're going to end up using a lot of the space to get stuff done. And you need to be on manual so I can drive you around the place. And this is going to put a lot of jobs in the build queue, and I feel kind of bad about that, but also whatever. And over here, I think bot's going to need a lot of rail. I mean, they always need a lot of rail. I think this in particular is going to cause a lot of rail needs. And then, yeah, still a lot of this stuff has to disappear. Um, and also, a lot of this stuff has to disappear. And then, in fact, some of this stuff has to disappear as well. Oh, well. Okay. Because um, the other thing I wanted to 
do about that is um, things I don't actually have all the stuff for. Because what I decided I wanted to do, um, that's not really how I planned on performing that maneuver, but whatever, um, is... Yeah, we're going to keep roboporting through here. And then, I guess part of this is we want to check... I've still got all those modules. Um, I want to check whereabouts the... the biters are up to. And... Yeah, because we want kind of this space. And then I reckon here is a good point to be defending from. Um, because we've got... Actually, let's go, let's go one more. Um, yeah, let's clean those guys out first. Which is probably fine, even though I don't have grenades, because these guys are still... Yeah, it's still fine. Um, let's actually have the weapons up that I want. Proactive expansion management. These, these are still all bigs, because... Loads of this guy as well, thanks. Yeah, we're still at... Prob I didn't actually even check. We're probably at about still real close to 85% evolution. Um, and they, they dodged through the place where there was landmines, yeah. Because I think the thing I'm going to do... Um, yeah, we're not going to bother with those guys. Uh, we are going to take this square as well, kind of. Um, and I guess we're going to do the, the radar trick of... We're going to put a radar here... And maybe it gets attacked because it's a military target. Probably not. Mostly we're going to use... Like, when that radar comes online, we will know the bots have built out that far, which is nice. And then I guess we do the same thing, I guess, here. And this will also get us some eyes on some things. Our bots are complaining about, yeah, just not having a bunch of stuff, mostly rail. But yeah, the, the thing we can do is we're going to break the grid again here... And we're going to have... Actually, I think with this this line here we'll be breaking, because I don't really want to dig up too many of these trees. Maybe even this line could be the last, like, baseline. And then a row of things missing, and then some roboports that end up forming a wall. So we'll have an actual wall section, which would be kind of, kind of fun. But probably not actual wall. Probably we're just doing a ton of landmine and laser things. Um, can I actually get... I can get through that way. Okay, good. Um, in fact, if we're here, then we can probably just go back to the core now, right? Like, that's a thing that... Nope. We can't do that. We have drifted too far. And now we can do that. Yeah, cool. Okay. Um, oh, hey. Let's, um, let's not do that quite yet, because I would also quite like to have some kind of radar coverage around the place. Kind of, I guess. Not very much of it, apparently. Um, we've got a couple of radars out here. We've got bots doing this kind of stuff. Um, how many? You've got no logistic bots. And then what kind of bot statistics did I end up in the main base? About 400 in the main base, which I think is going to be fine because we might not be building that much stuff in the main base. Um, but that's all pretty fine. This guy is still... Yeah, well, that, that's going to be sad for a while. Um, my train running out of fuel is going to be an issue because this is exactly the kind of train fuel that I'm not actually manufacturing yet. Um, this is, yeah, I can't actually tell how much stuff is on that train. I think we're just going to ignore it. Okay. Um, we are getting towards episode length. I think this is going to be one of the things of, are we going to build a new thing or not? And I think we're going to try to... Um, yeah, these, these are the modules that need to go over to... You know what? Give me give me all of these things now, and we'll go and do that real fast, so we can also drop a radar over there. Over there. These are the modules that this side of the base needs. Um, build, build train's still going to be a thing. Red ships, let's check whether red ships are happy or not. They're probably not. They're kind of going okay, I guess, because if, if, so if we, I think if we manage to keep these two beacons online, yeah, if we, if we manage to have these beacons keeping both of their bonuses, red chips are going to be a lot happier. Um, but also, I think, did I, I think blue chips, 
yeah blue chips also just fully backed up because there's just we're not we're not using a whole lot of those either so this this station is not a station that we really need to worry about unless we start using that anymore the RCUs we've swapped over to another thing as well um you wanted speed threes a couple of these did you want prod mod ones that's going to be more than you deserve um so that's all fine so we're getting yeah we're getting some stuff out all of the all of these guys need how many have i got here 58 um yeah yeah why not you guys are all going to get fancier stuff and because we've got all these things you can all have prod mod threes prod mod threes speed mod threes um so that's going to get us a lot more stuff out yeah crafting speed 45 percent a bit of productivity as well um a bit more pollution but whatever power grid is still completely fine even though we're kind of preparing for the next one anyway you're getting you're getting stuff give me these back everything is good let's go and figure out where we can build some ingot processing and I think, I think over here looks like a good spot for ingot processing. Do I want to use an edge tile or a center tile? Let's put it over here. Is this, whereabouts, this is actually pretty close to the, kind of the central, is it close to the central bit? Not really. The, the main, the first reactor was over there. Yeah, because we're going to do, we're going to do something like... I think don't think I have the, this modules for this either, do we? Yeah, cool, great, yeah. This thing, something like this. Most of these buildings, um, but wherever I'm going to, which I can't actually tell, it was over here, wasn't it? Um, lots of trees in the way. That's fine. Um, it's something like this over here, and then the things we need include a rich water request, which we can get from purple science, yellow yellow science in fact, um, this one here is the rich water request and that can go something like, okay so that's uh, yeah, am I going to be able to get, oh, I am because I can have, I can have this train station here And then these things are all going to not be there, and that's not going to be there, and this is going to be here either. Um, yeah, and this this is an accessible route, isn't it? Yes. So this... Things like this have some degree of complications, because all this stuff... Yeah, it's not, it's not a completely symmetrical rail... Let's not stand on the rails as we've just made that thing exist. Um... Why is this? Oh, I guess because this is not something like this is not actually separating sections. Um, but yeah, this this train station is accessible. We can have trains going kind of either way around this bit to get down here, which is fine. And then I guess we don't want this train anymore because we're going to be building some stuff. And then what else was I getting out of this? Oh, yeah, there was water, but we just vent that, don't we? Um, there's how many bots do we hear? Yeah, we've got a couple of bots. Um, this one wanted to be an upgrade, and then I needed a variety of speed modules and things like that. And then what I wanted to end up with was... Okay, I don't actually have the train station. Um, we want to end up with a train station about having titanium, because we're going to do this... I think, I think this train station here is just straight up not going to exist in the same way anymore. I think we're just going to pivot this completely somewhere else. Um, where where is, does this fit? This fits here. Yes. And then all of these things here. Probably going to be need to be upgraded because we... I think the plan at this point is we're going to just make a full... We're going to make a full red belt. At least the ratios I'm thinking about. We're going to make a full red belt of titanium, which is a lot of titanium, but it's fine. Um, and then we need, we need this titanium request, not not the request station, the titanium having station. Um, also here, um, 
I've got that the wrong way around, haven't I? This is... this station is here. Ah, uh, it's not there, actually. It's back. It's back one, so it lines up with the power poles. But actually, that's fine, because the only thing we've put in the wrong place so far is here. Which needs to go like that instead. Oh, no, this is... this is in the wrong place as well. Okay. Um... Uh, Sure, we'll just do all of that again. And then we need to go to the titanium thing again to get these chests linked to this combinator. And then... Do I actually have... I don't. Am I even making train stops yet? Well, the bots aren't complaining about not having train stations, so that's fine. Okay, so what I wanted from... Do I actually have this... Pumps, I do. That's pretty exciting. Okay, um, so we've got our rich water. Then there's another output from these things, isn't there? There's also the slag, which I haven't really thought. I, I've kind of got some ideas about that, but I think I think we're just going to put that on another train here. Um, that's going to be a, a sta train station for just having slag, but we don't actually need all that much of it. Are we still doing this with four carriages? I think we are. Uh, is this... Can't quite see the circuit conditions. I think... I think this is the version with... These things are all linked, aren't they? Yeah, and then... We actually want these things. Like, we don't get a lot of slag. But it is a thing we're going to have to put somewhere else. And apparently I'm using an edge tile for this pattern, which is fine. Um, yeah, because the thing the thing about this is there's, yeah, there's a bunch of recipes that, that so there's the gold, there's the neobium, there's, there's the titanium, there's also another one that turns up in, that we've just got recently, which is lead. And all of these things now have this ingot stage as well, and also the numbers are the same across all of these things. And so what I wanted to do was... Yeah, there was a... Well, I wrote down numbers for this thing. Where are these? Yeah, so I want... I reckon to get a red belt out, which is kind of wild, I need... I need two of these things with Stokes 2 and 1. Speed 3? What am I requesting? Speed 3? Yes, and then... Another speed three beacon. And this one is... Is this waiting on speed threes? Yes. And then that one to share the beacon. Yeah, this this speed three beacon wanted to share with these two. Do I have any efficiency? I do have efficiency threes. Good. But all of this geometry also wanted to change. Um, because... Yeah, I think I wanted... We get this out the way and put it where because we've got to get the plan is to actually have okay so i think we put it over here to remember the module settings and remember this thing here to get its module settings but the plan is uh one of these beacons yeah one of these beacons somewhere that has a speed three and an efficiency module three and then there's another beacon that has speed 2 efficiency module 3? Yeah. Um, and then these ratios have been... Like, the, the idea with these ratios is this... Yeah, which is why I'm trying to space, space these beacons a bit differently. Um, because this beacon also wants... This one is, is this one covering? So these, the ingot factories want these two beacons. These are the ratios I've figured out. I've, I've got these things, haven't I? Um, and then I've also got, yeah, these are my last two speed modules. Cool. Um, then, yeah, that one doesn't need to exist. This one wants to go here and here. And then as long as, oh wait, this, yeah, this, this beacon wants to hit all four of these things. This beacon needs to hit these four. And then this beacon here 
needs to be back in a position where it hits th this thing. How am I getting gear? I guess we're not doing gear. We're not doing that. And then I think I need... this thing in a position where we can have this guy. This the, the modules on this thing don't matter so much. Um, lead, I guess it's not lead at the moment. We're going to start with, I think I said titanium. Where is titanium ore? Yeah, it's ore, isn't it? Yeah. Um, like that, I guess. And then I guess we have boxes. Is this, yeah, because this is just a fluid transfer. This one is a fluid transfer this one is how fast do you yeah and it's slowed down quite a bit isn't it like one stack inserter here is probably going to be fine i think i need three stack inserters here because this is eventually a red belt um but i think i think i need the bots to build the rest of this is that in roughly a good place uh, yeah so so the thing the reason why i like these ingot things is not just that it gives you an extra stage and yeah this this ingot recipe as well the ratio at which you get molten titanium to titanium ingots to plates is better than if we just did casting machines for into plates but also we get an extra opportunity to put more of these modules in these things which makes yeah, but like by the time we've like the the old version of rich water into titanium ore into an arc furnace into a metal caster into titanium plates. If we compare the amount of titanium we get for any piece of rich water compared to this thing, which has like, oh wait, this is this is not this arc furnace here is not the correct moduling. This arc furnace here wants to be double Stokes. Yes. Yeah, that's that's the modeling that I wanted. And then we can actually get these things. Yeah, so we're getting we're getting still the same amount of rich water. We've got a better recipe because we're using ingots. We've then got twenty percent productivity at the arc furnace, twenty percent productivity again at the ingots, thirty percent productivity in the assembly machines, and all of this means we get a whole lot more stuff out for any particular unit of rich water. And I think I'm looking at where this is, and I don't like where that is. I think we're going to take all of this and put it, like, here. And I think one of the reasons we're going to put it here is that later, if I really need more of this stuff, I can put another one here. Uh, but the thing I do need to do is I need to find those item handling facilities, which I think I've got in batteries yes these things that will just void water because i don't need all that much water but i also haven't thought about exactly how many of these things i need so we're going to pretend actually this this spot here is going to be fine isn't it because we're going to get built in here somehow uh because we're going to have yeah in addition to so we've got believe this is going to be roughly a red belt of stuff. I mean, I might have also got the ratios wrong. It'll be a good thing to check once we've actually got this thing running. Um, but this here looks like it's a pattern I'm kind of okay with. This one, this one here somehow bounced. Yeah, okay. We're gonna have to do. We're gonna have to do all those beacons again. Um. Yeah, but we wanted one here overlapping that thing. One here overlapping these two. One thing here overlapping these four. And then this one was speed. Uh, all those speed modules went back into storage, so they've lost the request. Okay, that's a bit of a shame. I think we're going to have to do a request chest for like actually I'll probably just swing back probably just swing back at the, through the mall because it's also kind of 
episode length now. Um, but we're going to have... Yeah, we're going to have something to do with water running through... Is that going to fit there? That's going to be kind of annoying, isn't it? I think this... Oh, actually, this box wants to be limited to... It kind of doesn't matter how much, but, like, throughput here is going to be an issue because this guy is a fairly fast recipe already, even without connecting... Actually, let's do this here. Let's also make sure we can walk through here. So we're going to do that. Um, this really should have been either one tile up or down, shouldn't it? We're going to do we're going to do that differently because we can, because we've got bots. That's kind of what bots do. Sorry, bots. You're going to have to do all of that again. Um, in fact, I can take all of this and move it one tile up to here. And then this thing just can just connect there, and then this thing can also just go like so. And yeah, then we need to put I need to put these modules back in again. This also can now just actually it can't go there anymore. It still cannot go there. Because Because of the fluid output colliding with that pipe. Um and then I don't have these things, and then yeah, can we and then the second one, well, if I do want a second one, is kind of easy to fit here, maybe? Uh, you know what might have been easier? Which I think we're going to do is this instead. Yeah, this is a whole lot easier. Because we can also just keep running this one that way. And then the question is, if I move this thing again, and the answer is not really. The the I was wondering whether the next of these assemblers would line up nicely. Or the, I guess we can put it here, and the beacons aren't overlapping anyway, and we can have pipes in there. But that's all kind of fine. Um, yep, yeah, I think we're gonna we're gonna call this episode here. I'm gonna plug the rest of this in. We're hopefully gonna make this work. And hopefully we'll get a bunch of titanium here. The other the other reason why I wanted to do this in a node is because of... Do I still have these things? Yeah. All of these recipes are... I mean, the, the, these things also make stone and they also make other normal stuff and that's fine. All of these recipes are the same ratios for these four apparently quite important like mid to late game 24AK resources. So if I get... If I get a node that can go in on the edge, that I can have either a red belt of stuff out, or I can have, you know, two red belts of stuff out, uh, that goes on a train, some will do something to deal with the slag, uh, we're getting quite good recipes because we're using the ingot factory thing, um, I keep having bots delete these things and having to put my modules in, but that's fine. Um, yeah, this... Hopefully the plan here is that we will end up in a situation where we'll have a node that we can copy for the other materials and then like change some recipes but otherwise have quite a good just modular modular thing that will spit out all the stuff we need so we'll see if we'll see if we can make that work once all these bots line up we'll see whether or not these boxes fill evenly this is probably going to blast our rich water but also that's kind of fine um yeah but we'll, we'll, we'll call this here. We've, we've done some stuff. We got some things. I think this was another long one, wasn't it? Because we, we, we like started this build and then changed our mind a couple of times. But it's probably probably worth it. Do we have... So we've got radar turning on around here now. We've got the first of these radars built. We don't have the other radar built. And bots are probably complaining about not having poles. So we'll go and do something about that as well. I think there's some more modules to build around the place too. But we haven't got that done either. I think we've... Let's quickly check on purple science because yeah we got we got a lot of this stuff and then we're down to not having blue science cool because i was about to say oh, do we have 350 i have 350 of those yeah i think okay so that's going to be a thing we do at the beginning of the next episode is go into the beacon research get that done and then Think, and it's going to be red chips. It's going to be blue science because red chips is not. And it's going to be what where we are. Um, and then, yeah, get 
get some more beacons, get some mining productivity. Artillery is probably going to be the next combat thing we do. Um, probably clone this, yeah, make this node work, clone it a bunch of places for the other resources. Yeah, lots of, lots of good things. Long episode, got some things done. We've now got three bits to the grid, so that's exciting.